Here we have a LiDAR-derived forest inventory polygon layer with attributes such as saw log volume, percentage hardwood, and based live crown stored in 20 by 20 meter cells. If we zoom in, we can use our identify tool to look at the attributes of any one of these. And we have based live crown, basal area, trees per hectare, gross total volume, gross merchantable volume, saw log volume, and a variety of other attributes used to plan forest operations. If we look at the attribute table, we'll see that we have a wall of data to work with. All the same attributes that we just saw with the identify tool. Now, say we're working with a logging contractor who can only skid or uh, pull the wood with a skidder for 250 feet from the road. We want to select those cells that are within that distance. Let's first try with the Select by Location tool. So Selection, Select by Location, where the target layer is the forest inventory and the source layer is roads. So if we, we can use Intersect the Source Layer feature and apply a search distance of 250 feet. We can say are within a distance of that, does the same thing. And there are a variety of other options, such as touch the boundary, are within, and many of these apply only to polygon layers, which we'll get to momentarily. But we'll say within a distance of the source layer feature. So we are looking for forest inventory features that are within 250 feet of roads. Apply. And now we can see it has selected those cells that are within a band of the road. But we're going to have an issue with this. If we use our measuring tool, click on the road, we'll see that the back edge of this cell is 308 feet away. The front edge of that cell is 243 feet from the edge of that road. So this cell was selected because part of it is within that specified distance. What if our logger, he doesn't want to go 309 feet or can't economically? What do we do then? Our solution is to buffer the roads and then use some of those other selection options that pertain only to polygon layers. So we can clear our selection, geoprocessing, buffer, input features, roads, think, 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 unit is feet, and we want 250 feet, and we want dissolve type all. Think, 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 think. Now we have roads buffer, 250 feet around every one of these road layers. So let's try again our select by location. And now we still want to select from forest inventory, but we want to select where the source layer is the roads buffer that we just created. And now we want to say features that are completely within. Let's see. Completely within the source layer feature. Apply. And now we can see that we have only cells where there is no part of it outside of this buffer. So this is our 250 foot buffer. These cells are completely within that buffer. But we can see we have cells like this where more than half is within the buffered area, and cells like this where almost all of it, only this tiny little sliver, is outside. We can easily reach that within our 250 foot distance. So the way to get around that issue 
is to use a clip on the inventory layer so that we can get those extra parts of those cells. So geoprocessing clip input feature is our forest inventory. Our clip feature is the roads buffer. Okay. So here we have all these areas that are within 250 feet. And if we have a hard stop on 250 feet, we can go ahead and do that. In a lot of cases, 250 feet is going to be our target. And if we include the back edge of those cells as well, that's going to be fine. Especially if the next thing that we do is select those cells that have high merchantable volumes.